Today's topic, speed in the salon, and exactly how important is it? Right now, on the Biz Talk. We've been kind of going, I would say crazy on for the last few years on this topic. Mm -hmm. we're, we're very sort of clear on this topic, but there's been a lot of debate on this topic with, um, we hear it everywhere. We hear it from distributors. We hear it internationally. Yeah. We hear it from newbies that are just getting started in the business. Big question. Huge question. Yeah. How important is speed in the salon? And Tracy, let, let's just jump into this. So what is your take on speed in the salon? Straight up, how you feel about it? Time is money. Time is money. Speed is the way you're gonna move through and, and make the most amount of money in a day. Right. It's important. Yeah, okay. So let me ask you this question. If I'm, let's start with a brand new nail technician. So if you're new, cause mm -hmm. I want to, I want to hit like, if you're new or if you're advanced, like how much should you be concerned with time based on your skill level? So let's start with like somebody like me, right? If I'm going to start doing nails, just give up. <laughs> okay. And after I come back mm -hmm. after giving up, mm -hmm. should I be very concerned with time in the beginning? I don't, if you were a student, I'm like, yeah. I would say, don't worry about it right now. Okay. My first full set was five hours. Okay. So in the beginning, time for you, like you're like, let me put this aside because yeah. you got to focus on? Technique. Technique, right. So that's going to be my focus first of all is yeah. I've got to get this down. And I guess the, the, the best way I can relate to this is when I started shooting videos, mm -hmm. I wasn't concerned about time. Right. I was like... I have to just complete it and get it done and upload it. So I'm assuming it's the same thing with like you're practicing a full set of nails coming out of school. You just got your license. It's going to take you some hours to get done. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's not something if you're stressing yourself out about the time yeah. aspect, yeah. Oh, it's going to take longer. Yeah. It's going to, cause you're going to get nervous and frazzled. It's when you start getting the technique down and um, you kind of go on automatic pilot. Yeah. That's when you're going to see the time shave. Time okay. Shave. Okay. Okay. So that seems pretty clear and it makes a lot of sense because you have to be able to complete something first. Like you got to finish it. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, great, yep. I've done it. And then you can look at the nails and analyze them and then work on time as your technique maybe improves, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So, so very relatable, totally understand, completely agree. Now, let's say you're... Yay, we agree. Yay, we agree. <laughs> let's now address a more advanced nail technician, okay. right? So let's say you're a couple years in. You've got your techniques down. Yep. How concerned should you be about time now? Should be very concerned. Okay. Very concerned with time because, again, if you're taking a lot of time, then you're you're missing out on money. I right. Mean, it, that's what it comes down for me. Like, right. it, it's important. I've always felt that it was very important for my clients to feel loved, but to get them out the door as fast as possible. And I know some people are like, you know, in a uh, nail tech's mind, we kind of had it where like everything has to be perfect. Yeah. And the process has to be perfect. Right. And that line has to match that line. And it, if anyone's looking at your nails this close, right. they're looking too close. Yeah. They really are. Right. It's, it's about giving your, your, your client some really good nails. Yeah. Fast as possible. Right. Right. Exactly. I feel very strongly about this. Mm -hmm. Time is important in business, period. I don't think you can really argue that. Like, But you consider your business a business. I do. I do, of course. And That's 
the important part right there. Well, they got to consider it a business. You got to consider a business. So like if, if you're in the salon and you're a professional and you have a license and you're looking to charge for services and you're looking to make a career out of it, it's a business, mm -hmm. period, okay? If that's the case, you have to consider time. I'm a business. I have to consider time. The, how much product we put out in the market, we have to consider time, you know? In every way, shape, and form, it's gonna it's gonna change a little bit from business to business, but the bottom line is that time is some factor in your business. Now, so, for example, let's jump into salon. The more people that you're servicing in a day and get them out with a nice set of nails, the more money you're gonna make. Period. Now, if you're taking three hours on a set in the salon, and that's your business. There's only a certain amount of clients you can bring in per day, which means there's only a certain amount of money you're going to make unless you're charging, let's say, $300 for that set of nails that you're, that's taken you three hours. Well, if you're doing that and you've got three clients a day, I say Bravo. congratulations. <laughs> Good freaking awesome. job, awesome. right? Yeah, because there are people like that that, that love the art aspect of it and they want to make these little perfect canvases, but they're charging for it, and right. that's awesome. Yeah, and if you're getting paid that much money, and there are some people that are, and you're able to do minimal amount of sets per day, great, good on you, you're doing it. The person that I'm sitting next to in salon who's taking three hours, but they're charging the same amount that I'm charging for 30, 45 minutes, right. hour, right. Um, there's a problem. They're getting killed. They're getting killed, yeah. and they're doing these beautiful art, and they're doing these wonderful things and their client would have been just as happy with some liquid art, some glitter and mylar and out the door they right. go. If, if, if a set of nails, like, like I think what you said is, is perfect. Like what's your model? Mm. If your model is I got three people a day, I'm going to charge $200 per person, $300 per person. You got a great model. That's awesome. For the nail technicians that are not doing that, for the ones that are charging a rate that is probably more in the market. More more like me. Right. Nail techs like me. Correct. Who are, I can't do that insane art. You right, know, and right. And I have no patience for it, even right. if I could do it. It's just not my thing. It's not you. That I, I want the more fun art, quick art. Right. Because that's what I can do, and I want to be able to charge. Those are the, the nail techs you're talking to. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Exactly. Um, you have to be considered with time and probably a good measure is like you want to get it within an hour. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I, that's, I booked on the hour. Yeah. Sometimes on the half an hour. It depends. Uh, fills were definitely half an hour. I could do, it's been a long time, but yeah. <laughs> I could, I, I can do a full set of pink and whites in 30 minutes. Right, right. Um, not that I want to do that all the time I'm getting right. to that point I'm like I don't that's an hour you know yeah. now I want to be able to use the restroom maybe eat some lunch whatever yeah, it is right um but I knew I could if I wanted to slide someone in and make that money or someone was running late or whatever it was but sure again it, it that didn't happen overnight right right first right. full set was five hours that's right. a long way away from a half an hour it's a lot of practice a lot like, of time let's just say an hour yeah I mean, that hour's good it's right. really good right and um it it just slowly I, as i got the technique for three two I'm like oh you know with, for what i was charging right. like I, when, once i got to the two hour i'm like Okay, maybe I'll, I can make a living There's because light. I'm charging, you know, yeah. what everybody else is charging and, and doing it in an hour. So there was a light and then I can now focus on, okay, I have the technique. I, right. I understand the techniques, but what am I doing to, that is taking so long? What, right. what am I, what can I get rid of? And a lot of it is just this idea that everything has to be perfect. perfect. It's, it's, it's a great uh, subject right there. If you're caught up on like your nails have to be absolutely freaking perfect every single set you're never gonna get a set out no you're just not you've got to get the set out you got to get it done and you got to get the customer out the door that way you can welcome your new customer in the door and you've got to you got to get it done so it's i think that's in everything like the way that we've built our business here at Young Nails has been far from freaking perfect. Yeah. 
Seriously, not even close. You know what it's been? You know what it's been? I'll tell you. It's been an experiment of let me try this and let me try that. And then once we figure out what to do, okay, now we're going to do that. And then we're going to try to get faster and better again, and more efficient and do it again and do it again. Exactly. Repetition over and over again. I think that's why some people wonder why our, our, our nail blogs sometimes they're, they're very simplistic right. designs. Right. Why? The reason is because first of all, we want to give designs that you can actually do in the salon and charge and get them done within an hour. You know, that that's real nails that you can do in the salon and charge for them that are so beautiful. Like yeah. they're gorgeous. But it's not you're not putting I always use this example, you're not putting 68 rhinestones on the damn nails, Something you know what I mean? Set on your nails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seriously. Um they're coming off in 2 weeks. So. Right. <laughs> no Mona Lisa. It's it's and I'm not honestly I'm not knocking that. I think if you're, it's beautiful if you're, if, you're, if you're getting paid for it. Yeah. Um, even from an artistic standpoint, it, are they beautiful? Of course they are. Like I, I there's so many artists in the nail industry. It's they're amazing. gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're incredible. At the end of the day, like what we're most concerned with is making sure that you've got a business. Okay. And the reality is if you have a nail business, you're in the salon, you one hundred percent have to be concerned about time. Okay. I'm not saying if you're just getting started, right? We addressed this earlier that you need to be stressing about this. Yeah. You got to be patient, (laughs) but, um, you have to know that it's important and you want to shoot for the goal of let me book on the hour. Let me charge what I need to charge for that. That way you can make a freaking living. Okay. Timing yourself. Yeah. when I started timing myself, that made a huge difference. It's and I would great. I would kind of time everything. Like I would start my prep. And for me, prep was kind of pushing back, filing, cleansing, protein bond. That's all prep to yeah. me. And I would look at the, the my uh, stopwatch. How long did that take? Yeah, and that's really good. each section, I can kind of gauge them where I was taking yeah. longer and not um, where I could improve. Right. I think that's such a good idea, Tracy. Like you, you've got to, you have to kind of know where you're at. Um, if, if you're going to make this into a, if this is a business, you're going to charge for it. If you're going to pay bills, if you're going to support your family, help support your, you know, whatever it is, if you're going to be that entrepreneur, you need to be concerned about time. Like time is definitely, it's, it's part, it's, it's very, it's very weird and kind of interesting at the same time because in the beginning you have to have patience and you don't want to be concerned about time. You want to be concerned about time and you don't want to be concerned about time. So it's like you don't want that to destroy you in the beginning. Right. You, you have to be uh, more concerned about your technique. But as you improve you have to be efficient with your time and try to get in as many sets as possible so that you can make a living for us. We're about building your business. You've got to move. You know what I'm saying? You've got to move daily and try to get your sets in over the long term. You've got to know it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of patience Going to take a lot of work in that sense. You know, you don't want to get too caught up in it, but daily, you have to work on your time and you have to make sure you're pumping out sets every single day so that you can make a successful career out of it. And with that, I just want to say thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week on the Biz Talk.